న్యూ ఇయర్ ను సక్సెస్ తో ప్రారంభించారు ఇస్రో శాస్త్రవేత్తలు ఎక్స్రే పోలారిమీటర్ శాటిలైట్ ను పిఎస్ఎల్వీ సి ఫిఫ్టీ ఎయిట్ నిర్ణీత కక్షలో విజయవంతంగా ప్రవేశపెట్టింది మొత్తం నాలుగు దశలో జరిగిన ప్రయోగం సక్సెస్ అయింది విశ్వంలోని ఎక్స్రే కిరణాల మూలాలపై ఎక్స్పోసాట్ అధ్యయనం చేయనుంది ఎక్స్పోసాట్ లోని రెండు అత్యాధునిక సాంకేతికత కలిగిన పేలోడ్లను నింగిలోకి పంపించారు ఇస్రో శాస్త్రవేత్తలు ఇస్రో తొలిసారి చేపట్టిన పొలారిమీటర్ మిషన్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ కు పూర్తి స్థాయిలో మహిళా శాస్త్రవేత్తలు పనిచేశారు ఇది దేశంలో మహిళా సాధికారతకు నిదర్శనమన్నారు పిఎస్ఎల్వీసి ఫిఫ్టీ ఎయిట్ ప్రాజెక్టు డైరెక్టర్ డాక్టర్ ఎం జయకుమార్ ఈ విజయంతో సైన్స్ అండ్ టెక్నాలజీ రంగంలో మహిళల భాగస్వామ్యం మరింత పెరుగుతుందన్నారు ఎక్స్పోసాట్ ప్రయోగం సక్సెస్ పై ఇస్రో చైర్మన్ ఎస్ సోమనాథ్ హర్షం వ్యక్తం చేశారు ఈ విజయం అందించిన స్ఫూర్తితో భవిష్యత్తులో మరిన్ని ప్రయోగాలు చేపడతామన్నారు అత్యాధునిక సాంకేతికతతో ఎక్స్పోసాట్ ను రూపొందించామన్నారు ఇస్రో చైర సోమనాథ్ So happy new year to all of you. So on 1st January 2024, yet another successful mission of SLV has been accomplished. SLV C-58 has placed the primary satellite ExpoSat in the distant orbit of 650 km, 60 degree inclination. And we will be waiting for the exact uh, orbital parameters that will just... And we are also waiting for the satellite uh, to have its solar panel deployed. It also will come in a few seconds from now. From uh, this point, the orbit of the PSLV force stage will be reduced. to a lower orbit where the upper stage of the PSLV which is now described as POEM PSLV orbital experimental module will carry out experiments with the nine of the onboard payloads and that will take some time and we will come back to listen to all of that what happened in the POEM experiments little later meantime let me also announce the, uh, the orbit that has been accomplished which is uh, available to various uh, routes it shows excellent orbit and the deviations uh, from the uh, the targeted orbit is hardly just 3 kilometers in circular orbit of 650 km and inclination is uh, 001 degree which is one of the one of the very excellent orbital condition yet another announcement is the solar panel of the satellite also has been deployed successfully so with this uh, the new year has begun uh, with the launch of PSLV we have exciting time ahead Pratham promotion, Shri Hari. Thank you, sir. I am extremely happy to stand here to celebrate the grand success of the 60th launch of PSLV. As you all know, ExpoSat is a space observatory, but what makes this mission more interesting is the host of new technologies that are getting demonstrated in the POEM3 experiment. We have a fuel cell, we have the silicon-based 10 ampere hour high energy battery, green monopro thrusters, amateur radio satellite service, and more important, a totally women-engineered satellite for the comparison of solar irradiance and UV index. This, I think, showcases women empowerment in the field of science and technology. And all the payloads, in fact, demonstrate the reforms that are currently sweeping. Indian space sector. But today's success has been made possible by the tremendous efforts put in by a whole group of people from Team ISRO along with the other stakeholders. This mission would not have been possible but for the wholehearted effort put in by various teams, the SDAs and SR agencies spread across different centers starting from SDAC, URC, STRAC, LPC, IPRC, VSSC, IISU, LEOS and also ISRO headquarters. I would also like to thank uh, InSpace for acting as a nodal agency in identifying the payloads for POEM3 and all the NGEs for delivering the various payloads adhering to our schedule. Let me also thank our industry partners for delivering quality products for the realization of the launch vehicle. Let me take this opportunity to thank uh, Chairman Isro uh, for the mentoring and the guidance provided and all center directors. Specifically, I would like to thank uh, Chairman and uh, uh, members of uh, MRR, uh, FRR, LV and ORC for the Master. Uh, sir and uh, Shuja sir, they have taken extensive reviews and all the DRTs for clearing the various systems also they and the auxiliary services were supported. I would also like to thank my own project team, especially Vehicle Director Damo Dren, Associate Vehicle Director uh, Joyce Jules, uh, all the DPDs, the other team members and the Project Management Office who has been effectively managing the campaign activities. Finally, I thank our family members for the support they provided to make our mission 
successful. Wish all of you a happy and successful new year. Stay in. The second of your story takes place in the visibility period of Trivandrum in orbit 2. During the non-availability period, ground rays will be updated by extrapolation on the video wall. The non-visibility period is approximately 4,500 seconds. All the stations involved in operation.